Good morning, Mark Watts here out in South Mobile County. Today's episode of uh, Nature Photography, I want to talk about one of the handiest devices you can have besides a lens and a camera. Uh, it definitely will improve your uh, photography and it will make it easier uh, to, to get around. It's, I find it very helpful. I always keep a monopod handy. They're usually very cheap. I only buy the ones that are about $30, $40 because uh, I'm kind of hard on them. And in this video, you'll see why. The first tip uh, for using a monopod is it makes a great walking stick. And uh, a lot of people carry walking sticks when they're hiking, and usually I'm covering a lot of territory. So it's handy. You can use it to balance yourself as you walk across the log, down the trail, and uh, many other things. And we'll get to those All right. later. All right, this is tip number two. A lot of times when you're looking for birds up in the trees, you got the sun coming up. You can actually be walking along and I can hold up my monopod and I can block the sun so I can actually look in the trees a little better. It cuts down on some of the glare. It's uh, very simple. You can walk, just hold it up. It's very handy for that. Alright, here's tip number three. A lot of times in the early morning when you're walking down the trails you have these spider webs they come across. They always seem to wrap on your arms or wrap around your face. Well, I hold the monopod up in front of me and it catches those threads of this uh, spider webs before they get in my face. Uh, it's really handy for that. Tip number four. Monopods come in really handy for moving brushes, sticks, limbs, sticker vines out of the path. They don't harm the trees or the sticks in any way, but it does help you move the stuff out of the way and makes it easier access for you. Tip number five. A lot of times, especially out on Dolphin Island where I'm crossing the little salt ponds or crossing the little streams that feed out in the gulf there, I actually use my monopod to gauge how deep the water is before I step off in a hole and get my camera wet or get my batteries wet in my pocket. So it's very handy for, for judging the depth of things or moving stuff out of the way. All right, this is the final tip. My monopod disconnects very easy and very quickly. I say it does. All right, so you can take it off and use it. It's adjustable, you can get your height. And this is the final tip, is using it as a monopod. Uh, it steadies your shot. A lot of times when you come up on a bird or an animal, you're sitting there waiting on it to do something. You can actually just let it hold the weight. And you can turn the zoom in and out. You don't get tired of holding it, because sometimes you'll sit there for Oh, five minutes waiting on a bird to do something. It's a waiting game. I sure have stirred up the mosquitoes this morning. But anyway, a lot of times when the bird, you see something come up higher, you can just pick it up. It's light enough to do that with. Or if it goes down onto the ground, you can actually lean it forward. And it, it, the lever here lets it move accordingly. And you can come down and get the shot. You can go up. I always like to leave the top adjustment, the one that's loose. That way I can go up and down with one hand. I don't have to reach down here and adjust the bottom one. So these are all my tips for uh, using a monopod. I'm sure there's many more and it will definitely improve your photography and uh, help you get around in the woods. So y'all have a great day. Thank you.